Toronto Maple Leaf fans here? No. Yes, no. Yes. No, we don't. Okay, I'm going to speak slow. That's where Bob comes from, so just 8 million bucks a year. It's, it's great to be here. Yeah, my home is Fort Erie, Ontario. As many of you know, uh, we're down across from Buffalo, New York. And we were, when we were kids, we used to play with the Americans all the time, back and forth. And they would throw dynamite at us. And of course, us being Canadians, we'd light it and throw it back. <laughs> but I've been very fortunate. I uh, played my junior hockey in St. Catharines, Ontario. Thank you. 
1964. And of course, Mr. Eagleson was very good at the beginning, but not very good at the end. Uh, so as a result of that, he spent some time in jail, rightfully so. Uh, but I was able to, uh, to, to play in the NHL, and it was never about the money. It was always about the love of the game. Uh, I was fortunate enough to play 11 years in the NHL, and I finally had to quit because of a, a sickness, a, or an illness. The team got sick of me, so I... <laughs>
Yeah. Watch him watch it. Well, they won the Stanley Cup at least in 67. was the last year. Larry Hillman from you know where. He, 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 he asked for a raise. And Ted Lindsay says, stick to it. He's going to go from 18000 to 20000 And Jim Light wouldn't give it to him. And he, he insisted on it. He sent it to the miners. Sorry. But that's, you know, talking about the, the, the contracts, you win the Stanley Cup and you ask for a $2,000 raise, that happens. When Rem Blair was our general manager here, I was making, 13, I think it was thirteen five, my second or third year in the league, and I asked for a $500 raise for the next year, and I got a letter back from five hundred. are you kidding? I, he said, I was laughing so hard I didn't want to throw off my chair. <laughs>
And I remember my first game too, it was uh, one of the first games I played was against Detroit. And of course, Gordy Howe had the big elbows, and you've heard all these stories, be careful with Gordy, and so on. And I'm sitting on the bench, and those days they only carried five defensemen. And I was a fifth defenseman, so I only played if there was a penalty, or if there was an injury, or there's an equipment problem. And Pat Sable came off one time with skate blades broke. So, Billy Ray was our coach, and I'm kind of looking down and thinking, oh boy, Gordy Howe's on the ice, I hope he's not coming to get me. <laughs> but I'm the only guy left, so. He comes down, and Billy was not very tall, but he had really long arms. He taps me on the back and says, get out there. So I go up there. I look up on the left side, Gordy's on the right wing position, of course, and I'm looking at him. He can't look at me like, what was this kid? <laughs> and Alex Avecchio, who was on that picture up there with a the cigar also, kind of looks at me, and they kind of wink at each other. I thought, oh, this is not going to be good. <laughs> so Gordy, uh, uh, Alex won the draw, got the puck, put it into the corner. Now I'm racing Gordy to the, the puck. Now I've got a 40-foot head start, which helped. <laughs> so I got to the puck first, played off the board, to shoot the back, he always come. And they always tell you, you know, when you when you make a pass like that, get your stick out to protect yourself because the guy's still coming at you, may hit you, and you, you know, he's got to move through the lumber to get to you. So I'm, I'm watching, and Gordy's still coming. I'm kind of thinking, he didn't even see me make the play. This is really good. So I dropped my stick, I stepped around him, and Gordy came through with an elbow and he hit me right above the eye. <laughs> now down I go, all right? Now I, I can't show you hurt. So I'm trying to get up. I get up, I go like this, and I got blood in my hand, and I realize I can't see it through my right eye. And I'm thinking, oh, this is not good. So I'm trying to skate, and I realize I gotta get to the bench. So I go back to the bench, and Billy Reese says, why are you back here? So I said, did you not see what happened? He says, no. I said, I, Gordy hit me so hard, he, he, you know, he blinded me in my right eye. And Billy came over, and he straightened my helmet. <laughs> that, was, that was the start of my career. <laughs> Actually, we didn't wear helmets. Yeah. Hockey's changed a lot since your days. Um, salaries aside, which part of today's hockey do you wish had existed in your day? Your days? Other than the salary? Yes. <laughs> you know what? If you like, you watch the old time stuff that we have up here. The, the, the speed of the game today is tremendous. The equipment is so much better. The facilities are so much better. I mean, these kids are pretty well pampered for them all the time. I mean, I travel with the team, it's all first class. We would travel commercial, we get on the middle seat, maybe if you're a rookie. You might get a meal, you may not get a meal. We got $12 a day, half $6 it was a half day, now they get $104 a day. Uh, and they also get meals inside that. You know, I, it, it's just a progression the way things have gone. We're not the DC-3 anymore, now we've got the 757s and 77, whatever they have in the aircraft, but it is really changed. But I think the speed of the game is so much better today, and I think the NHL has done a pretty good job in trying to... Uh, Hello, Ryan. Last Hello. Guy, Hello. It's nice of you to pay attention to Last guy in advise, by the way. <laughs> but the, the, the level of... Uh, of uh, the players today is so much better than it used to be. I mean, if we go back, I go back, they look at these walls and stuff like that. I've got over 400 items in here that I've collected over the years. And I'm always looking for old older stuff. We, I'm planning expansion of this place next year. Hopefully that will take place. But I'd like to get back to let the people see what it was like. And when you look at the old time sticks, that stick there with the tape roll, that's in the 1920s. I had to put up high so nobody rips off that tape because I don't want to, to damage it in any way. But, uh, I think just the, the speed of the game and the, the uh, ability of the player is so much better. The, the, the shots. When you, when you've got a guy like Char shooting the puck at 108.8 miles an hour. And not that Bobby Hall and Stan McKee did it. And, uh, Dennis Hall couldn't shoot the ball hard, they could, but it's so much, it's so much easier. The composite, I mean, we, there's a letter in there, if you look at it, it says, if I give a stick away, it says they're going to charge me $10 for giving a stick away. Now the sticks are $200. I mean, it is, uh, everything has a progression, I guess. Other questions? Do question, uh, you have a question? Oh, at that time, at time, you missed a bet, I think, by not naming this place. How many eats penalty shots? <laughs> well, you may have a point. Uh, actually, I'm about an old dairy queen down the street here, about half a block away, and I'm going to reopen that. That may be a name that I'll consider, and that'll be a drive-through. 
That's going well. I appreciate you guys coming down. Hope you have a great time. Roger is a great host, and if you have any questions you want answered, you know, you don't ask Rod. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. James. Thanks. James. Uh, James. Yeah. I don't. I don't think I need that. Somehow I got recruited to try and round everybody up for a photo for Ron, who is our VP Atlantic for the past 152 years, uh, and unfortunately couldn't be here because of health reasons. So we would like to get a photo of all of us together if we could. So Doug, you should. I'm going to come up there. Yeah. Here, yeah. And we'll all go stand there. And yeah. We'd like you to be in the center of the photo, of course. Please. Um, and Roger as well, and then we'll get that for Ron. So everybody, put on their happy face.